instead of MPL or PH. It's a it's a big event. Uh, it's an international event. Yep. Renix P solid. Looking for a mage now. Yep. The Valir is out. Chang O would be a good option here. No. Oh no. Then picking up the Kadita goes. Or Kadita good. also. But mm. they or Eudora. Actually, Eudora could. Be Eudora there. is nice here. Yeah, I agree. It could be nice. Although they might not have practiced that. I like the Eudora against the Leomord though. I think Eudora can be uh, can be the last pick here for NXP. No, or something like Lunox, actually. For Chester. We've seen this before, by but the way. But they need a hole, man. Like, they... mm. Okay. So it's Hilda. Hilda Two tank setup. Joy, tank setup. This is NXP's way. Every time. Every time you see them, huge success with two tank setups. Yeah. What I do like about <laughs> NXP Solid is that they have this... Uh, Sorry, for, for NXP Solid, they do have very good bullies in the jungle. So that is going to be bad against the Leomord. That being said, I'm not sure if the Leomord actually is going to be the final hero. Because knowing Brand Esports, it could even be could even the, the X-Borg. Or, or the but, X -Borg, yeah. But instead, no, it's uh, the Leomord funneled hero. Yeah. Ooh, okay. It happened before. It happened before. This is not the first time that Brand Esports did this. The Leomord funnel. There was also a time where Aura did this in an international tournament. and I have a feeling that we're going to uh, Game 4 because of the Leomord funnel. Strap. Yeah, because you know why I, agree, why I might agree with you? Because of the invade potential. Like uh, Jawhead as well as Hilda. They can make it incredibly hard for the Leomord to farm. Yeah. While the Lancer can just you know clear out the wave. Yeah. But Brain Esports... They can do what they might be able to do. What a, a little reminiscent of what Aura did, like putting the thumbs to help the Leomord so that they can take the jungle. Yeah, use the sight and uh, use the quickness of the damage. Exactly. So, this wow. One. Okay, Welcome stickers popping out. Legends. Game number three is Bren gonna finish the game, or will NXP survive and we force? Will know. Game number five. Starting it out with two mana necklaces for a few yep. right here. Maximum and, uh, spam. Maximum spam and of course boots from all of the team for all of the teams, I mean. Oh, yeah. So interesting opening for the side of Bren. What you get with the Leomoid is that it's quite slow at level one. Right? That's right. But it's it's not the the biggest of the deal, right? Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Like you can just Yeah. And what they can do is just to bully Kaltizi out of this lane. Mm -hmm. Out of the jungle, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now Rene J against Rebo. It's quite even. The Esmeralda and the X-Borg matchup. Both can poke out each other and just gonna be... Just gonna wait for the skills to pop. Yep. Now NXP leading by 100. So Kaltizi is now delayed. On getting the purple buff and look at Yaoi right now. Mm -hmm. Getting the orange buff. Will he be able to get it? There's the shielding. Okay. Who gets it? It's, it's Yaoi. Okay, Yaoi. Go oh my, my glob. Oh my god. Oh my glob. That was so unfortunate. Championship for Selena for Brand Esports. And that's the first blood. A very scary first blood. You know what's scarier? You know, what? The Tricksters Village event. Ooh, scary. Running October 27 until November 13. And you can get Halloween candies and convert them into treasure spins. Each spin will cost four Halloween candies. And you can get out the seven each day from completing the tasks. 30 Dust Special Skin Hammer Giant is guaranteed with 10 spins. Okay. And you can also send 10 26 in MLBB. There you go. Come out with a skin. Their account and server ID in the comment section. Then we will go lucky winners of Granger Lightboard Overrider. Go ahead, log in and take the spin. As uh, right now in the top lane, the map is spinning because NXP Solid are getting pickups. Actually, Esmeralda, uh, Renny J survived the gank from Carl Tazy. So right now, NXP, they're doing okay at game number three. Looking at their spells right now. Wolf, yeah. this is defensive Kupra from Lusty with the tenacity. And it seems like Renny J is doing great yeah, with his Esmeralda. Definitely. And uh, 
that will help NXP Solid into taking over the mid game. That's what they wanted. There you go. But oh my, the H two O. You don't want that if you are NXP. Carl Tizi also with the killing spree, man. Getting that life oh steal, but Yaoi is here with the ejector, Ooh. but it was it was not enough. For Kill him to survive. Killing spree, Leo Morden, with the help of his teammates, is going to be able to just mow down NXP solid. Yeah. You don't want to don't wanna be low in the fights yeah. if you're NXP solid. You have to start strong. There you go. We can see in the Gillette instant replay how that happened. They went in already when they are low, and Carl TC just punished them for it. And look at the juggle for Bernie Sports in this one. Oh my. The, Amazing. The tower aggro got confused. And uh, Wolf. This is interesting though because back then there was a debate whether you're gonna use the killing spree on the Leomord or not. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, like for players, especially in the Philippines, like they want the high and dry. Yeah. But it the high the killing spree, it will make a lot of sense, especially when the Leomord gets that passive The of, Oath Keeper. The Oath Keeper of having a lot of damage whenever he reached the threshold of his HP and then will immediately pop the life steal. So wow. I, I think the I think the healing spree is just the best in this meta that we have right now. Yeah man. But there you go. Lusty also surviving with one HP left. Oh no! Here comes a backup from MB and Carl Tizi. No Thorn Rose for you this time. So okay, he went a little bit aggressive there as NXP will tie up the game to 12k so it's still not over yet Renny Sports doing mistakes oh it could happen we can see that the problem for Liam Mord is that if he commits into the fight he can be punished yep there's not much control however for NXP solid but if they do time this well they can be that they can win the fights, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. And for example, a well-placed ejector and a good combo could spell the doom for Carl Tizi. Yeah, we shall see, because Carl Tizi now with Phantom Steam coming in with the Phantom Stop. That is the trickle uh, going to the Lancelot. Chester is now falling low. Rebo pops the flamethrower. Here comes Drenny J attacking Carl Tizi. Carl Tizi is now at low health. You will also die. This is NXP Solid. Getting revenge kills after revenge kills. Renny J also putting on a show. This means that NXP Solid are going to be turning the tables around. I love the fact that they also took the turtle after taking down Cartesi. They started the fight already. So Cartesi, when he came into the fray, it's already far too late. Renny J going to the backline to contest this Leomord meant that Cartesi needed to back down early on. And the AoE damage from NXP Solid are really good right now. Yep, it's Gillette instant replay showing us how Red XP Solid are able to shave the day. Yeah, shaving their lives in this series, man. Few also not really getting any good arrows for them to pick up. This time H2O is having fun. And what? Speaking of H2O, Tyrant Strange will connect onto him. MB with a backup. Here comes the Thorn Rose. Yaoi with the ejector onto Rebo. Rebo will just go for the sta uh, fire stakes as uh, Chester will force out this serpent. And Carl Dizzy still will save the tower in the mid. But NXP will get the top. So wow, mission accomplished for NXP. Yep. You can see on NXP solid. They're taking over the map. This is what we like. They are actually leaving by 4,000 now, man, Gene. And if this is massive for NXP Solid, if they do snowball from this, them going into the mid game, the strength of the Lancelot will be there. Yep. Plus, they cannot immediately kill all of these tanks if you are Carl Tizi because of, of, of the du dual tank setup. But Chester, he's quite too deep here. He's falling low. There you go. Phew, with the last hit. Now with the Calamity Reaper. You don't want to give Bren Esports a little bit of opening here. Never. Especially if you're leading. Never ever give Bren Esports some opening. Oh no. Lusty with the jump though. Okay, Lusty. But MB protecting H2O. Both of the teams just want to get this purple space right now. Want to have advantage of this vicinity. 
Renny oh, J. Renny oh, G. hitting nothing but germs though. Let's see. Pops the Frost Moon. Here comes Yaoi with a Jector. He will get you. That is the burst from the Thorn Throws. Few is down for the count. 24 seconds. As Carl is in company, they're running away. Lusty also. Renny J attacking him. Pops the second skill. Another first skill. Look at that white HP. Oh, Renny, Renny J. J, the bomb. Ooh. There you go. A ticking time bomb, Renny J. What a wonderful clash in there for LSP Solid. Their decision making was perfect. Yaoi finding her crazy. Oh, the Phantom Steed. Oh my god. It missed. Nice ejector coming out from Yaoi. And H2O, this is your time to shine. This is the fight that NXP Solid wants. But Doc Rebo is in no town. Way. <laughs> no way, says Doc Rebo. Oh no, we all thought that that was it. Another arrow coming in. Red Esports protecting the tower. That was a miscalculation from NXP Solid, man. Oh my goodness. What a clutch save from Rebo. But you have to take note. NXP Solid started the fight great. But in the interim, they overextended. Unfortunately, yeah. you cannot do that. They dove under the inhibitor turret, the base turret, which is directly behind the tier 2. And obviously, that's not the spot where you want to be in at this point in the game. Yeah. Nevertheless, but, they're still leading. But yep. I think NXP Solid should minimize those kinds of mistakes. Yeah, just utilize Renny J. Because look at him. He is the richest one Absolutely. right now. 7,400 gold for this Esmeralda. Is this going to be the dilemma for Bren Esports? Well, that is the question. Because right now, Ooh. nice setup coming in for Bren Esports. Last inside TD again from Doc, Rebo, MB, Pops, the Black. Dragon form. He has all of the Dragon Souls. Here comes the Renny J special, the bomb. Again, hitting but hitting nothing but germs with Chester now with the slashes. Another um, revenge from Lusty as H2O will secure this purple. There you go. Carl TZ can't do anything right now well, with his new mode. We are noticing now for NXP Solid. Is that their lineup are not ulti dependent? Oh. But if you're looking at Brenny Sports, they're. A little bit ulti dependent, but what a nice snag from Few. The championship Selena oh. is actually bullying out Few. That was big. Now. That was big. I can hear the call. I can hear the call that they want to go in. Third. Okay, Arrow coming in. Phantom Steed. Renny J. He has the ultimate too. No, I, there you go. Pops the ultimate. Another arrow from Few. Renny Sports. They need to back off. Three seconds onto Yahweh. H2 always here. He will go for the flank. Flanking Carl Teasy. Carl Teasy already in half health. Renny J is also here for the backs out. Renny J, second skill. Now with the falling star moon. Lusty. All of these heroes are so tanky. Nothing is happening yet. But Renny Sports trying to control a little bit of tempo. But again, NXP Solid. Their items are now good. Their items are now uh, are now better, I mean. So NXP Solid still getting the upper hand. Exactly. And so what they wanted. But for Chester right now, he's gonna be chased by Brand Esports. Arrows from Fior will be hurting a lot. I wonder what NXP Solid's lineup looks like in the late game. Because yep. this trio, like the they Lancelot and the, 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 the tank duo, yeah. they aren't as uh, scaling as compared to like, the Kufra and the Selena in the late game. Yeah. But they love it. That's they love true. the That's duo true. tank That's every true. time. It's, this is their formula. This is their formula of winning. Yep. Dual tank setups. And now, Ren Esports on the defensive side. NXP Solid can't really do anything right now but just to attack the Lord. Now, Bren, they know this. It's all about positioning right now. Wolf. There you go. Team fight happening here. Arrow connecting. Another Black Dragon form. Last insanity from Doc Rebo. Lusty will miss the revenge. But again, the traps coming in. NXP Solid. This is a bad fight. Okay, let's see. H2 over on the side. Renny J will just back off with the slam dunk. Okay. Both teams will disengage. Chester will stay. Will try to contest the Serpent. But now, Carl Teasy, he knows. Renny J will still stay. He has the purple, but okay. Carl Teasy with the retribution. Okay, that's a... Carl Teasy gonna oh, be able to secure it. This is bad. The bomb. He got caught. 
But that is, of course, Lance Insanity. Renji still alive, though. But Chester, the one to pay the price. But here comes the Selena killing H2O. Oh, no. Renny J, though, with a mega kill in the second skill. But can he survive? Can he no, take no. this away? No, 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 no way. Renny J went bye-bye. The bomb has exploded and it caused NXP Solid, this Lord that should have been theirs. What a comeback from Brand Esports. What a fight. The decision for them to actually engage against NXP Solid in that timing was perfect. The Phantom Steed hit two people. They also really marched forward, just destroying everyone. You can see in the Gillette Instant Replay that Rebo's ultimate was also very good. The last Insanity hitting the valuable targets. Hilda, you can see that Jawhead as well as oh the God. other support, which is which is the Hilda. Hilda and Jawhead, they aren't as good as the Kufra and Selena. And the Selena really shred through NXP Solid. And then, of course, the last Insanity coming out from Rebo was perfect. The percent base damage that really tears through all the tankiness of NXP Solid, that was what spelled the doom for yeah. NXP Solid in that fight. Fatal catch there mm -hmm. from Lusty onto Rene J. And <laughs> we've seen this time and time again, Wolf. If you give Ren a little bit of loophole, yes. a little bit of hope, they can convert it into a V. Exactly. Into a victory. Exactly. And now they're getting the towers in the top. Rene J and Yaoi, they're confused whether or not. Will they take the fight? Rebo, Nas Insanity is out. And now the tower in the top lane. is still alive though. But Bren is in control. Flap Dizzy even mopping the recall, man. That's how confident he is. He knows this and that is going to be a push for Bren Esports in the middle. I think... I think that fight... Oh, nice dodge. Yeah, that fight was just... That fight was it. It and might be it. Yeah. NXP Solid's mental fortitude right now is low. And you can feel that Brandy Sports are feeling it. Like Rebo's play. There you go. Rebo with the last insanity. Nice arrow coming in from Few. But MB will go again for the Black Dragon. Renny J is far away. It rhymes. <laughs> 13 to 11. Oh my and God. And Ren again popping all the sneakers. Scaring the hell out of NXP Solid. And this is, I think, going to be the team fight. Nice initiation from Renny J. He is here. Tanking for heroes, ladies and gentlemen. But the Rebo spinning and putting in a lot of damage. Also, Few with the Garode. And, but Few will also fall down. Brand Esports will back off. This is the discipline from their squad. But can Chester and company get them? This is the best time for them to go ahead and go for the team fights. Far too late though. But it was too late, yes. And Crowd TZ was able to take down the buffs as well. Coming out from NXP Solid and slowly going. Now Chester okay. sees that there are two people in here. Not over. Phantom Steed, Last Insanity once again from Doc Rebo. Oh, the catch from Lusty. Renny J is still 13 seconds out. What can Bren Esports take out from this? The orange buff and the purple buff will go to their side. Plus, they're waiting for the right opportunity to push. Unfortunately for NXP Solid, they're going to be losing more right now. I think that Rebo using it? his ultimate just to zone out the members of NXP Solid just to start the fights. You yeah. don't want to get a kill, actually. You just want to destroy the formation of NXP Solid, make them react to you, and then let the rest of Brand Esports punish them for it. Yeah. The smart position for Lusty. This is what we call the, the smart, smart position. position. Because of the smart logo. Exa exactly. Thank you so much to Smart as well. That is it. Lusty just can pop that one and catch oh, everyone. Man, the angles. 50 seconds down for the count. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Brand E Sports telling everyone that they will sweep NXP Solid in the playoffs. Is it gonna happen though? Are we gonna see it? He's not Ren at East. the second though. It, it's not yet Rebo. over, but I think it is. Ren Esports sweeping the hell out of NXP. It doesn't matter, NXP. You guys are still popular. Ren Esports are the only ones strong. Ooh. Even delaying the game, oh my.
Test. <lacht>